Hi everybody, it's Patty, Rockstar Mom, and today I want to show you my closet. And I, I tell you, I want to just apologize right off the bat because I'm still playing with my lighting in here. I've worked on it this morning trying to get it just right. I filmed a video and uh, the lighting was not right and it was just really dark, so I decided to, to redo it. Uh, this is probably going to be sort of a trial and error for me to get it right so that I can show you because I want to start and, and do more outfits of the day and, and sort of show you uh, how I'm shopping my closet. Things I'm giving up, things I'm adding to it, and just give you an idea of what it's like to, for me to finally have a really nice closet. Before I married Jim, I lived by myself, and having uh, closets was just not an issue because every closet in, the, in my condo belonged to me. When I married him, I did have my own walk-in closet, but it was nothing like this. There was no way in the world I could complain about it. I really did like it, but it, it wasn't like this. When we decided to actually make that move to Florida and live in that little condo, uh, that was one of the trade-offs, was that closet was tiny. You've heard me say that, that I could hold my arms out like this and turn around and touch the walls in all directions. Absolutely touch the walls. I had one side, Jim had the other side. There was a closet in each of the other two bedrooms, and when I tell you, those closets were jammed to the hilt. They were. So, when we started looking for a house, we had a list of, of things that were super important to us because this was going to be our forever home. And one of those was having a, a nice closet, or at least one that was big enough that we could get a lot of our things in. And this house actually has the best closet of all of the houses we looked at. And so it was just, we were just supposed to be here. That's all I can say. Just another reason why this was supposed to be our forever home. So I wanna show you the closet and explain a few things about it to you. And uh, in the future, as I said, uh, if you'd like to see it, uh, I'd like to come in the closet and do outfits of the day maybe, or show you how I put together outfits. I have some ways of wearing things that you normally don't see when uh, in my normal videos. So I wanna show you all of that. First of all, I wanna do what I'm wearing today. And I'm gonna back up, I have my camera here. Maybe you can see it. Hopefully these lights aren't blinding you. I'm hoping this is gonna be okay. So I'm gonna move back. And I'm looking over here. Can you see? No, you can't see the, you really can't see the camera or the light. So that's a good thing. Let me back up enough. Start at the bottom. These are just some Walmart leggings that, uh, you know, you know, you know about Walmart leggings and capris. I, I have several pair of uh, leggings that come from Walmart. I, I just, I love them. So I have these. And then yesterday, this is funny, yesterday I was watching Nanny, Nanny and Moose crushing their 80s. I know a lot of you are watching them. If you don't, I'll list their channel again uh, for you to go over and check them out. But she had had a haul. She had been to Ross and she had found some of the cutest things I've ever seen and I listen I finished watching that video and there's a Ross just down the street from us and I headed to Ross and it was horrible it was one of the worst stores I've ever been in it was even worse than the Bills outlet that's here that I went to and y'all know how I love the Bills outlet but but it was it was horrible i Knew TJ Maxx was not far away, and I had been in the TJ Maxx here, and I love it. So I drove on down to TJ Maxx, and I bought this top. And it says, Radiate Kindness, right here. So I loved this little top. I think it was 
11 or $12. I wish it were a little bit longer in the front. It's plenty long in the back. It covers my bottom. But I wish it were just a little bit. You can see it's about maybe three quarters of an inch longer in the back. But it'll be okay. It'll be okay. I'll just be careful. But I love this little top. It's just a little so really soft t-shirt. So I, this is what I'm wearing today. I'll pick out some shoes here. But it's just easier to walk on this carpet barefooted. All right. With that being said, I want to sort of give you an overview of the closet. And what I'm going to do, first of all, is tell you about Jim's side of the closet. And that's all of this. And I'm not sure here. No, you can't see it. You can't see it at all. But Jim's closet, Jim has this much room. The only thing is, there is a big cabinet right here that I'll show you a picture of. And then there is a... Uh, a shelf or two shelves that go all the way across the uh, at the top and then from where the cabinet is all the way back uh, are double racks high and low so he has all of that and at the very end his two rows I have things hanging that I'm making decisions on getting rid of whether to get rid of or whether to keep so so that's down there. Jim has very few clothes. Back before we moved, it, one of his golfing buddies uh, is very involved in a men's homeless shelter and uh, where they feed and, and clothe and help homeless men and help them in any way they can. And they're always in need of clothes. And Jim uh, went through all of his, mainly his golf shirts and some of his shorts and donated the majority of what he owned. He He's probably kept about 15, 10 or 15 golf shirts because, you know, Jim pretty much plays golf every single day. So uh, he donated a lot of shirts and some shorts. So hopefully he helped out a whole lot of men there. But I didn't. I, I did donate a lot of things to Goodwill, and then I'll explain in a minute what, you know, what I am doing with my uh, things that I'm not sure about. So, let me just sort of show, show you this, and you, you can tell I have the two shelves. You can't see this upper one, but it's really high. I'd have to have a tall ladder to get up there. But this one I could reach with my short ladder that you'll see here, right here. And I can put my hats and purses and things like that up there. But mine is just one long rack with a shoe rack on the bottom. So I have that. Okay, so let me sort of show you how I have my clothes arranged. And some of you are going to, I know the comments already, you're going to go, you have so much. I do have a lot. I'm 77 years old. I've collected a lot over the years. I've collected a lot of things that I love, that I've hung on to for sentimental reasons. Over the years, too, I have sort of figured out what looks best on me. Uh, I don't know any of the rules on fashion. I, I know none, but I know my body type. I know my coloring, and I know the styles that look better on me. I can put on some things and just gag, and I can put on other things, and I absolutely love because I love the way they look on me. But I just remembered something that I didn't show you, and that is this mirror. Can you believe this mirror? Oh my goodness. Listen, to do this the easy way, I took my my uh, camera off of the tripod, but I want to show you this. Okay, look at this mirror. Can you believe that? This is a pocket door that slides. And here's the other thing about this mirror. It makes me look skinny. Now, 
25 years ago when this house was built, and I think I shared this with you, a contractor here in Pensacola built this house for his mother and father-in-law. It was custom built. And every single day we are learning new things about this house that we didn't know were here. But when we only saw this house one time before we bought it. So I didn't know about this door. I mean, it's every day we're finding something, but I didn't know about this door. That man, I'm sure he did this as a gift to her, to his mother-in-law. Little did he know it would be a gift to me too, because not only is it mirrored on this side and the other side, so I can stand in the ba in the bathroom and pull this pocket door closed, and it's the same mirror on the other side. And to make it even better, it makes me look skinny. Can you believe it? <laughs> It makes me look skinnier. I'm not skinny, but it makes me look skinny. So I'm loving that, loving that. But let me show you what I've done, what I've got, and, and I'll pick out a couple of pieces and show you that are special to me. And that's another thing I want to do as we film videos in my closet is I want to show you some things that I've bought that over the years that are just so special to me and why. So that's where we're going to start. We're just going to sort of pan my closet. Now, I'm not completely organized yet, not at all, but I want to show you what I've done and it'll, it'll be changing as I figure it out again. And, you know, just trying to get organized. Now, the first thing I want to show you that you're going to notice on my side of the closet is uh, or, or are these hangers. And almost every single one of these are the Joy Mangano hangers, huggables. And they used to be, and can be sometimes, I think, extremely expensive. And a lot of people think, oh, I, I just can't afford, I can't afford those. Well, I've been buying these huggable hangers since Joy Mangano came to Home Shopping Network, which was probably about 15 years ago, and she came selling these hangers, and I love them. I've never paid full price for them. I always buy them when they're on sale. Maybe they're the today's special value, or maybe they're clearance, or maybe they just have some kind of a this day only or a special going on, but I love these hangers. They grip I never come into my closet, even when my closet was jam-packed and had clothes on the floor. They just don't fall off of the hangers. Even spaghetti straps don't fall off of the hangers. Now, because I've never really paid full price for them, I have them in a lot of different colors. I've ordered the colors that were available. And I think some of these, it was the colors were being discontinued. And uh, that's why they were on sale. But I don't care about the color. I, I think they're much better on your clothes. Uh, I, you don't get the puckers in the shoulders for, that you get from normal hangers. Doesn't matter how long it's been hanging up there. One thing I like is the hooks don't turn. They are in there. And uh, and I'll tell you why that's important in a minute. But, but I love these huggable hangers. And you'll see a lot of those. After Jim and I were first married, I his closet was a mess. And he had a separate closet from mine. Clothes were on the floor. They were hanging. They were cattywampus. It was a mess. And I asked him one day, I said, would you like for me not to throw anything away, but just to organize your closet? And he said, sure. So I went to TJ Maxx and I bought the lookalikes for the huggable hangers. And I bought all like a brown color, something real masculine. I had his closet looking gorgeous. It was just beautiful. And about a week later, his closet didn't look any better than it did when I had started. Clothes were on the floor 
uh, they were broken. He had broken some of the ha uh, things because Jim is bad, and I think this is probably true with a lot of men. He'll just reach for a shirt and grab it off of the hanger, and it would break. Uh, those old wire hangers and plastic hangers, you know, they're not going to break probably, but might bend, but he was breaking those hangers from pulling clothes off of them, and because the the hook would turn, they were coming out. In all the years that I've been using these huggable hangers, I have never broken one of them. I, and I do want to say, Joy Mangano, Home Shopping, they have no idea who I am. They certainly didn't sponsor this video. I got nothing for this, but you know, you can still get huggable hangers. I don't think she's on home shopping anymore, but I do think they still have the hangers. If, if color doesn't uh, bother you, watch for them when they're on clearance, when they're on sale. I highly, highly, highly recommend them. I don't regret one penny that I have spent on them. Plus, they just make your closet look so much neater. And as you look through, you'll see some hangers. Let me look like pent. You'll see some of plastic hangers holding pants, and that's because of these clips here. When I was unpick packing and going through some things, I found these. And look, these are, came with some of these huggable hangers, and they're clips that you can put on down over those hangers and hang pants on, so I'm going to switch all those out. Just haven't done it yet. All right, so we're going to turn this around and see what I have. All right, well, the first thing, I mean, this is a tie rack that was already here, and I'm just hanging things on it. My turby towel from when I washed my hair. This is a little purse I bought at an antique. Let's see if we can show you. At an antique store. It's vintage, and you can tell tag's still on it, although the price tag is not on it. But I know, I, I'll, listen, one day I'll feel like being fun when we go out and really go out, and I'll carry this little purse. It is so cute. So cute. Love it. I think, too, it's just cute hanging up there. So, starts there. As I said, I'm going to show you some things and tell you what they are and why they're special to me. This, oops, this came from Victoria's Secrets, and it belonged to my mother. And it is a night jacket that she bought so many years ago. And when I would go visit with her, if it was cold, she would always go back to her bed, their bedroom, and she would, I need to wash this, and she would change clothes, put her on her gown, and she would come out. I wanna make sure that you're seeing this. And she would come out with this jacket on over her gown or her pajamas. And it was, it's fleece. Is this not the cutest thing? It was one of, it was a special memory for me. I used to beg her for it. Every time I was there, I would say, you know you need to give me that little jacket. I'm gonna, this needs to be washed. I'm gonna do it. I'm not sure what's on it here. It's probably just from hanging for years, but I love this. It has a special place in my closet right there, very first. Then I have caftans, and this is just two of them. These came from Ross, and they're only about $10. I have, I think, three more that are in the laundry right now because I wear these all the time. And that was one reason I wanted to go to Ross yesterday because um, 
Mary Ellen Nanny showed some really cute ones that she had gotten there, and they had none at the Ross I went to. I've just about worn these out. I need to get some more. I wear these like in the afternoons and evenings around the house. I can wear them outside, going to the mailbox or, you know, they're, I'm covered up, but they're just cute. This is, and I'm not gonna show you every single thing in my closet, but I bought this a couple of months ago at World Market and it's a one size, and it's a caftan too, but look, it's shorter, it's big, it's definitely a one size. I think anyone could wear this. I love it big. I, I just, it's cotton and I love it. I wear it around the house. I go in, to, there are a couple of things we're not gonna even look at right there. Being 78 years old, one of the things I've learned over the years is I know what looks best on me. Um, I'm always open to suggestions, but I know which colors look best on me. I know styles. I, I know what my personal style is. I know what I'm comfortable with wearing. I know that other people might look at me and the way I dress and say, oh, she needs to do this or she needs to wear that or maybe this color or whatever. But you know, when it comes right down to it, I'm the one who has to put that on and wear it. And so it's just real important to me to have things that I love, that I'm comfortable in, that I truly feel like are me. You'll notice a pattern in my clothes with colors and styles. So here we go. Beige is not my color. It just is not my color. But I have a few things that are beige. And you can see, right, three tops, basically, that are beigey, taupey color. Although I can wear some taupes. Uh, and that sort of, in this little top is linen, and it's sort of pinky beige. And then I have a huge amount of white tops. And I find, you tell me if you have more white tops than you do anything else. Uh, I certainly do, because I've always felt like I can wear white with any bottom. Any bottom I can wear white with. So I have a lot of white tops. Again, one of my very favorite white tops is this Easy Tank, and I've shown you these before, from uh, Diane, ooh, this has got makeup on it, from Diane Gilman on Home Shopping Network. I have... Uh, three or four of these in different colors, but I love that. Blue is one of my colors, and I have a lot of blue. These are all blue, and I just like blue. It, it, every time I wear blue, I get compliments. One thing I'll show you that's special, it's old, and I will never get rid of it. The elastic from hanging up has pulled loose in the shoulders, but Jim and I went to Cabo on our honeymoon, and I wore this on the honeymoon. It was, uh, it's see-through. I had to wear a tank under it or a camisole, but it's interesting that the elastic has stretched out on it, but I just don't think I can ever get rid of it. I love it. Okay, then we go into some sort of, or oh, something sort of orange. These are unusual. <laughs> a little green. I like green. I just don't wear it very much. Some of the, some of this needs tweaking. And then black. I've always said I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna wear black until they invent a darker color. And so that's one of those black. Easy Tanks from Joy Mangano, and this is everything that has black in it, really. And then we go to pink, and I love pink. I just don't, I'm surprised that I don't have more pink, actually. Another one of those Diane Gilman tops, and let me say this about these. I had to learn the hard way on this. 
when you, if you decide to buy this, and I think I told you in the video where I showed these, go down a size. Normally, I would have would wear a large in most tops, and I bought this in a large, even though they said to go down a size, and I had to send it back and get a medium. That coral is pretty, but these are pink. These are pinks, and I will show you. This is another one that I will never get rid of because I wore this on the honeymoon too, our honeymoon. And this one. Haven't worn these in a long time and may not, but I won't get rid of them either. I love red. I have very little red in my wardrobe. Just mainly these two things that I would consider red red. This next little section, this is, oops, these are kimonos and some of, a couple of them are bathing suit cover-ups, but they're little kimono type tops and you've seen some of these in videos I've worn. That's one of my favorites from World Market. If you have a World Market and you haven't shopped with them, look look at their clothes. They're, they're different. Then I have a little section of jackets. And let me, probably to right here. And these are just little lightweight summery things. I will show you this. This came from Soma several years ago. Very oriental, like a little kimono, but it ties. It has ties. It has big, I love the sleeves. I was in Soma and saw this. It was on clearance. And it is part of a loungewear set, they said, and the... Uh, bottoms, it had like pajama bottoms or bottoms that were damaged and they had thrown them away and had put the top on clearance. I don't remember why I paid for it, but I love this. I have worn this so many times. I wear this with dress black pants at, uh, you know, in the evening if we're going out someplace that's a little bit dressy. This is before COVID. And when I first wore this with Jim, I came out and you know, he said his usual thing. I, re I really like that top. And I said, thank you, Jim. I said, actually, I bought this uh, off the clearance rack, and it is uh, a pajama top. And he did a double take, and he said, well, I don't mind that you bought it off of the clearance rack and that you tell people that, but please don't tell them it's a pajama top. It's a pajama top. I love it with black dressy pants and a little black camisole under it. I bought this. Oh my gosh, I've had this forever too. It's a little short. I hope you can see it. Buttons here down the front. I bought this at a street fair in Greenwich Village in New York a hundred years ago. And then, <laughs> this is so funny, when I, when I looked at these, I thought, I've got to do something with these, but I cannot bear to part with them. Do you know what these are? Those of you who have been around my channel for a long time, do you remember when I was into, I, I bought the, one of the Suzanne Summers, I don't remember what this was called, the poncho that you can wear about a million ways. If I can find that video, I will link it. But anyway, uh, I bought this. I hope it shows up here. And I don't remember which one I bought, but when I showed it on my YouTube channel, somehow Leslie, Suzanne's daughter-in-law, saw it or somebody showed it to her. And they sent me all of these. And so I don't know. I just haven't worn them in forever. But I have them. The next little group are, it's just a couple of summer leopardy sweaters and 
just li some little linen, long linen tops. I love linen. That's a tunic. Then we get, oh, and these are, oh, there's another kimono. But these are just some miscellaneous things that I need to do something with. And then we have pants. These are just all pretty much summer pants. And I'll show you these real quick. Bought these in Barcelona. They're a linen blend. Love them. I like to shop when we travel. Haven't traveled in a long time. We're thinking that this time next year, maybe we're going to be comfortable enough to cruise. And also, some of these pants here are those fancy pants that are this real flowy, rayon-y fabric with elastic in the waist. I love wearing these. I'm having to look here. I have skirts, long skirts. Then I have my short everyday dresses, just little t-shirt type, denim type dresses, knit type dresses that I can throw on that just come to my knees. And then I have long dresses that, uh, in fact, I did a video on, on long dresses a year or so ago. So some of those, one thing that's really special here is this and this is the dress, my wedding dress when I married Jim. And I wore it, I did wear it off the shoulder. And it came to my ankles. Has the ribbons on it. I bought this dress online. I love it. I'll never get rid of it, obviously. One other one I'll show you that I'm we'll never get rid of. On a trip, we were at the Amalfi Coast, and I bought this at a little sh store. And then when I was at TJ Maxx yesterday, oh, you're going to have a hard time seeing this. I tried to show it in the mirror, but because it's dark, it's hard to see. I'll just show you. It was $39.99. It's uh, for all mankind, and I just saw it. It's for fall, but it's a long dress has a long sort of puffy sleeve and a ruffle on the bottom. But I think this dress will be great for fall. It's like a rusty cinnamon color, which is a, it's an okay color for me. But I'll hang it up and save it for fall. And then in the very back, these are just... Uh, uh, one of these hangers that hold scarves. I've uh, had to glue that thing back together, uh, but I just have a lot of scarves on it that I rarely wear. Rarely wear. And then shoes on those shelves and shoes down along here. Uh, I have on the shelves down there just folded jeans and uh, folded sort of the linen-y type capris. I want you to know that I know that many of you don't have a closet like this. Many of you have closets that would put this closet to shame. But whether you have a small, tiny closet like I had uh, in that little condo or or whether you have a closet this size or grander, uh, have fun with it. Have fun with just coming in your closet and playing with your clothes and seeing what you have. When I went to TJ Maxx yesterday, for instance, because I had had a really good opportunity recently to go through everything, I, I knew what I had. And it was... Two, there were two or three things that I saw at TJ Maxx that I thought, oh, I would love to have that. And I, I picked it up. I was going to buy it. And then I thought, you know what? I have something similar to that. There's not anything that I can do with this top, for instance, that I can't do with 
other things that are in my closet. I, I have had so much fun, too, every day, because every day I'm looking at this, and I'm picking out a top and thinking, okay, which pants can I wear with that? Well, my pants are all right there. It's real easy to see. Uh, or I pick out a pair of pants like the floral pants that I got on the Amalfi Coast or in Barcelona, rather. And I come through to my tops and I can just hold them up and say, ah, oh, this will work. I couldn't do that before. I tried to do it, but I found myself going to three different closets thinking, what do I have that will work with these pants? Or what do I have that will work with this top? And, and also what would happen is when I would go to shop, I would buy things because it was easier to buy it than look for it in what I already had or something similar. So let me know, what do you think? Do you want to see more videos of me in my closet putting outfits together, showing you how I put outfits together and why I think they work for me? And they may not work for you. I know Many of you will have different ideas about what you think I look better in, but I'm the one, and you're the ones, who have to live with yourself every day. We're the ones that get to look in the mirror and say, I'm good. I'm good with this. I may be 78 years old, but I'm good with this Radiate Kindness t-shirt, and I'm good with these Walmart leggings on. I'm good. This is who I am today. I am good going out in public or I'm good staying around the house. I'm good with the way I look because really and truly that's what it's all about. When it comes right down to it, it's not about impressing other people. I don't show you this closet to impress you. I'm showing you this closet because I, I think I know you, and I think most of you want to see it. Let me know. Just let me know. If the majority of you say, no, 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 Patty, I don't want to see it. I don't care about what you're wearing. I don't care about how you put clothes together. I, that's okay. You, you just let me know. We won't do it. But I think most of you will want to see more of what's in my closet and how I go about actually putting outfits together to determine not only what I'm going to wear, just today, but what I'm going to wear when, when we're going out, when we're traveling, when we're able to cruise again or maybe go to Barcelona again, it'll be easier for me to show you everything. You're, you're probably not going to see a whole lot of new purchases because what I'm going to want you to do is shop your own closet the way I'm shopping my own closet. And one of the things that I've done, I've said this before, one of the things that I've done for many years now is I go on Pinterest and I'll search casual outfits for mature women or evening cruise wear for mature women or what to wear, you know, hairstyles or anything for mature women or women over 60 or women over 70. And tons of of looks will pop up, just tons of them. And when I see something I like, I come to my closet and I think, okay, I've got a pair of white trousers or, or leggings. Let's see what top I have that will give me a similar look. Or, I, oh, I have a top similar to that and, and bottom similar to that. And I'll come to my closet and pull things out and try them on and I can find a look that is very, very similar to what was in that Pinterest picture that I loved. And I love what I picked out. And I loved what I picked out even more because I picked it out of my own closet. I shopped out of my own closet. And I hope you'll start doing that too. I love clothes. I love buying clothes and shoes and jewelry and all of that good stuff. But maybe it's one of those things that comes from being older. It's just that I I want to wear what I have. I want to, uh, with the exception of little things like this, I want to, I just want to 
wear what I have, shop in my own closet. I'm spritzing here because I have the closet door closed and the lights are hot. But, yeah, let me know. Let me know. Do you want me to shop out of my closet for the most part? Let me know. And I have a ton of shoes. We didn't even go into the shoes. And I've gotten rid of a lot of shoes before the move. I got rid of a lot of shoes. I gave them away to the Goodwill. I hope someone is enjoying them because some of them were just like new. But for me, they just were no longer comfortable. I'm a, I'm not a, an expensive shoe person. I have a few expensive shoes, but I love going, you know, to my Bills or to Ross or TJ Maxx. And TJ Maxx shoes are pricey usually, but I love finding little inexpensive shoes. And that's what a lot of my shoes are. And uh, I wear them a couple of times and then I realize, well, maybe they're not so comfortable. But then I have expensive shoes that aren't comfortable either. So I'm learning just to let them go and let someone else enjoy them and see if they are more comfortable for them. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching. Know that I love you. Don't forget to go out and be kind. Be kind. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.